Hello my friends, my brothers and sisters in Christ all over the world. Just wanted to give you a few words of encouragement today. Starting with Psalm 34 verse 8 that says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Now, If we understand that and we begin from that, begin our faith, our love, our life with that, then everything in our life will change, will have a different perspective of life and our surroundings. Because everything that God has created Everything that comes from the Lord is good. Remember in Genesis, God created and he saw and it was good. Everything he created, he saw and it was good. He created you. He created me. He created your family. He created your parents. As much as you might not like him, your friends and family, your siblings, your relatives, but he created them and he saw and it was good now what happened during their lifetime what went on in their circumstances that shaped their personalities that shaped their character um, it comes down to a lot of factors which could be uh, down to themselves their own choices in their lives and so we cannot blame God for that because God created them and it was good and if we understand that only that fact that God creates and anything that comes from the Lord is good then our perspective of life our worldview will change in, in, a, in a good way, in a way that um, you might not understand God's actions in your life, but you'll start trusting His heart. Because you know God's intentions are always good. Anything that comes from the Lord is good embrace a life not not a life that you've created but a God life if you like this God life that God created for you and God created you in that life once you do that nothing will be too much for you because you know that the Lord has created and whatever comes from the Lord is good now um, that is why I always urge people to pray for absolutely everything in their lives uh, you know I, I, I wake up and pray thank God that I'm still alive David says I sleep and I wake up because the Lord sustains me. Now, do you imagine the number of people that go to sleep and never wake up? So when you wake up, you need to give thanks to the Lord. And starting from there, when you set off to go to work, uh, you wash up, you drink, uh, you have your breakfast, you get in your car or transport, public transport or whatever, and go to work, you need to give the Lord thanks for all those things, for your, for your vocation, for your job, for the transport, for uh, your wife, your husband, your children, your parents, for all those things that have been put in place for you to enjoy this life. 
at work, when you're doing your work, whatever it is, do you pray before you start your work? You know, by uh, profession, uh, I'm an electrical engineer and, and I'll tell you the number of times I can tell you uh, example after example, how many times I couldn't solve a problem on my own, with my own knowledge, with my own strength and with my own skills and experience but as soon as I prayed and trusted the Lord to give me wisdom and it, it just another dimension opened another window of knowledge opened suddenly and, and I uh, was able to solve those problems, issues uh, and, and you just think well this is nothing to do with God, but everything has got to do with God. You know, I had people, I had even managers telling me, you know, I'll leave God uh, to Sundays. And Sundays is for my bit for God, and the rest of the week is uh, my time. Well, I'm sorry, but. God is a 24/7 God, 24/7. God doesn't have holidays. He doesn't. He doesn't give you holidays. You can't take holidays. You can't go off. You can't. You can't ask God to turn a deaf ear to you or turn a blind eye to you or your actions. And and He is in your life wherever you go, no matter where you go. He is with you in the bathroom. He is with you in the bedroom. He is with you at work. He is with you in your house. He is with you in the field. He is with you in the city. He is with you in the village. He is with you everywhere you go. And, and, and he wants you to let him, let him have uh, room in your life open the door and so let him give you the um, knowledge the wisdom to make the right choices in your life in your daily life every day we make hundreds of decisions from small to big and each one can have a knock-on effect on our overall life um, achievements and even the span of our life and can have can have an effect on other people's lives like our own family members our own colleagues friends family relatives so I urge everybody all the time to pray for everything absolutely everything from small to great and only then you'll get God's everything the question might be for some people well how can death be good and a lot of people don't question that a lot of people, a lot of mourners who've lost their loved ones don't ever question that. When the quantity of the years of life has outstripped the quality of one's life, we don't ask or most people don't ask how can death be good a part of the answer to that question can be found in Isaiah 57 verses uh, 1 and 2 that reads good people are taken away but no one understands those who do right are being taken away from evil and are given peace.
those who live as God wants them find rest in death. So death is God's way of taking people away from evil. From what kind of evil? Well, <laughs> that varies from one person to another. An extended disease maybe, an addiction, a dark season of rebellion. You know, imagine someone accepting Christ in their life at one point and living a good life, holy life for a few years or as many years as God wants and then die and let's say his family or her family were wondering why uh, he had to go she had to go at that time at that time in their life uh, imagine if God could see that that person if that person lived more years that person could just start rebelling against the Lord and put away all his faith you know and and God knows all our um, tolerances you know he knows how much I can put up with how much you can bear and so he doesn't put more on you he doesn't give us more than what we can bear or withstand imagine if God extended someone's life who wasn't supposed to live that long and, and then that person just started going crazy and losing his marbles for any reason just you know developing Alzheimer or things like that and um, chucking out all his faith and, and so he won't he wouldn't have finished the race that was set before him but when he died even if he died uh, at a time that we think he's died premature that time by that time he has actually completed his race and he has kept his faith so that could be one uh, reason uh, which I call a dark season of rebellion maybe the Lord is saving them from a dark season of rebellion we don't know for what reason but what we do know is God has appointed a time for everyone as Solomon says there is a time for everyone there is a time to rejoice and there is a time to mourn in God's plan every life is long enough and every death is timely though you and I might wish for a longer life but God knows best God will lead you through the valley of the shadow of death not around it for aren't you glad that it's only a shadow of death but yes we face death but thanks to the Lord that we only face his shadow and again thanks to the Lord that our loved ones have passed through the shadow of the valley of death and they're happy where they are so rest from the shadow of death why because the Lord walks you through it we will not experience the second death and the first one doesn't kill the spirit I hope this message has been encouraging for you particularly those who have lost their loved ones recently or at any time and, and they're still mourning and they're still grieving remember uh, anything that comes from the Lord is good and that 
God has saved them from the evil, from the evil to come. He's spared them from the evil. Now they're at peace, they're in rest. They have entered God's rest and they have no worries, they have no pain. They have no sorrows. They are with the Lord if they were in Christ and they have received the Lord Christ as the Lord and Savior. May the Lord bless you and keep you and yours and give you wisdom and meet all the desires of your heart that he put in place in the first place. May the Lord be with you and yours. Till next video, goodbye and God bless.